Hello, good morning, and welcome back, young mathematicians. So for today, here are our tasks. First, we begin with the math prayer, and then we will have this game called Big and Small. Next, we're going to talk about comparing and ordering numbers. Then we will have a, a practice, and then in the end, we will dance. Are you ready? Let's go. All right, let's put, a, put ourselves in the presence of God. Prayer position. The name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear God, may we through your blessings add purity to the world, subtract evil from our lives, multiply the good news of your Son, and divide your gifts and share them with others. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, boys. Now, let's play a game. It's called Big and Small. Here's what you're going to do. I will let you identify the, the size of the animals that I'm going to show you. Okay? So if it's big, you're going to do like this. Big. And if it's small, you're going to do like this. You're going to hug yourself. All right? Let's begin. We have here first the Sumatran elephant. Is it big or small? Three, two, one. The answer is big. Correct. Good job. Next. We also have here the green turtle. Big or small? Three, two, one. It is small. Nice. How about this one? The blue whale. Big or small? Three, two, one. Of course it is big. Fantastic. We also have here the chimpanzee. Is it big or small? Three, two, one. It's small. All right, nice. Next, we have the red panda. Big or small? Three, two, one. It is small again. All right. Let's move on to the saltwater crocodile. Is it big or small? Ready? Three, two, one. It is big. Well, thank you, everyone. Good job. And for participating, I will give you a gold star. All right, let's move on. Now, talking about saltwater crocodile did you know that the biggest crocodile in captivity was found here in the philippines yes and it's lolong even its name is long see this is lolong and i took this photo in the national museum of natural history in manila before the pandemic hit so he's there. It's actually just his body because, unfortunately, he died in captivity. So to preserve his body, the expert did something called taxidermy. All right, so that others can also see him. So once this pandemic is over, once we can all go out, you can visit the museum to see Lolong's body there and also other animals. All right, thank you. Now, talking about animals, do you know what endangered species are or what they mean? If you do, good for you, you already are aware. But if you're not aware of this one, endangered spe species actually are animals who are in danger of going extinct when we say extinct it's like their kind is gone forever just like the dinosaurs we can only see them in the pictures in the movies in 
in our imagination, but there are no dinosaurs anymore. They're extinct. And also, you know what, boys? The pictures that I've shown you earlier, those animals are already endangered species. That's right. It's so sad, you know? But you know what? We can do something to save them. There are three ways. The first is, of course, you need to be aware. Be aware of what's happening to the animals. You can visit sites to read articles and wait for updates, such as this one, the Worldwide Fund for Nature or the WWF. So this is their website. There are updates about endangered species and other um, activities that they do to save Mother Nature. There. We also have here People for Ethical Treatment of Animals or PETA or PETA. Okay. There are also articles and uh, activities, news that they uh, post there. You can read them so that you can be aware of what's happening. Next, number two, if you're already aware, you can also spread awareness. How? You can share these information to your family and friends, your classmates, or anyone. You can use social media. All right? Spread awareness. Tell them what's happening to our nature, to the animals. So that in the end, we can all act together. We can still save them. Let's do, let's do this all together. You know what? Even simple things can help animals and nature. We can protect them simply by using zero waste materials. Do you remember that from your grade one? Uh, you used materials that are zero waste reusable materials if you do fantastic because we are going to push through with that because we are celebrating this september the creation season all right remember that creation season is when we celebrate and honor god for the creations that he made for us See, nature and animals. And we, are, as humans, are actually stewards of God's creation. So, we must all take care of it. The animals, especially the endangered ones. The nature and all that we see. And that's part of being a good marista. Right? I know you are. I know you can do help and to save these animals and nature. Thank you, boys. So talking about animals, let's head on to this one. Do you remember Ali the alligator? Yes, if you do, nice. Good job for you because I posted the video about him, right? If you watched it already, amazing. So let's talk about what Ali likes to do. Ali likes to eat the bigger number. See on these pictures? Yep, there. Ali ate the bigger number right away. And that's actually what we're going to talk about. Our lesson for today are about comparing numbers and ordering numbers. Are you ready? Yes. Let's go. Let's talk about how we compare numbers. So when we are comparing numbers, we use three different symbols. Greater than, less than, and equal to. Do you remember when Ali is looking for the bigger number, he looks to the left and to the right. So when the bigger number is here on the left side, he will face the left side. And it's the greater than symbol 45 is greater than 25 
To remember that, you use your hand like this. Greater than. Good? All right. Now, for the less than, okay, when the bigger number is on the right side, Ali faces right. So, here in 30 blank 50, the answer is less than. All right. So, less than is like this. Do this so that you will remember less than. Okay? Now, what's equal to? When Ali doesn't know which one is the bigger because they're equal, he will just face front. So here in 100, blank 100, the answer is equal to. The symbol is like this. So to remember, you can do like this or like this. So far, so good? Amazing. Now, let's, let's talk about ordering numbers. There are two ways which we can order numbers. First, ascending, and second, descending. Let's talk about the first one. So, ascending is like going up the stairs. We start from the smallest number going to the biggest number. So here we have 10, 20, and 30. Now, the second is descending. This time, it's going down the stairs. We start from the biggest number going to the smallest one. Here we have 30, 20, and 10. Ascending, descending. Say that to yourself. Thank you. Now, so far, so good? It's time for us to practice. Now, let's practice. Here's what you need to do. You're going to compare the numbers presented using your arms or your hands to show the correct symbol. So, if it's greater than, it's going to be like this. Less than. And equal to, ready? All right, so 89, 89 is what to 99? 3, 2, 1, it's, all right, it's less than. Thank you. Good job. How about this? 137 is what to 117? The answer is 3. Two, one, and greater than. You got it right? Nice one. Third, 550 is what to 550? Three, two, one, it's equal. Right? You may say equal to or equals. Fourth, 844 is what to 804? Ready? Three, two, one, and... The answer is greater than. Yay! Next, 681 is what to 781? Three, two, one. The answer is less than and then we have here 537 is what to 357 three two one the answer is of course greater than good job now let's go to how we order numbers arrange the following numbers in ascending order. I'll give you five counts. Ready? Go. Five, four, three, two, one. And what's your answer? The correct answer is 25, 35, and 45. If you got that right, fantastic. Still ascending order. Five seconds, 
Ready? Go. Three, two, one. Ew. What's your answer? The correct one is 110, 120, 130, 140. Yay! This time, you will arrange the numbers in descending order. Ready? Five seconds, go! Five, four, three, two, one. Ew. What's your answer? The correct answer is 53, 52, 51, 50. Good. Last one, still descending order. Five seconds, ready, go. Five, four, three, two, one, and your answer, is it the same with this one? 600, 500, 400? If it is, fantastic, good job. So congratulations everyone for doing a good job. If you got a perfect score, that's good for you. If not, don't worry, we can always get better. Remember, a good mathematician never gives up easily. He's always up for tough challenges and he tries again, just like you. Thank you everyone for coming today. So now let's recap before we end. Here's what we did. We talked about the endangered species and how we can save them. We also learned how to compare numbers using symbols for greater than, less than, and equal to. We also learned to order numbers in ascending and descending order. Now for our last activity, let's all dance. Now here's what. You are to click the link posted in our classroom to view this dance video. All right, I may not be able to dance with you, but I know you will enjoy this one. It's a greater than, less than, equal dance. It's called Hullabaloo by Blazer Fresh. I hope you dance that with your family too. All right. So thank you, young mathematicians, for coming in today and for watching this video. I would like to see you next Tuesday. And let's get on to new topic. All right. See you. Praise be Jesus Christ. And marry his mother. Goodbye, boys. See you next time.